Let's turn our attention now to the management. And what you need to do is to look across the whole of the documentation that's available to you and form this view about the management. And in this, in this particular case, we're going to look at management skills. The first point to start with any crowdfunding opportunity, indeed any early stage company, is to have a look and see who the co-founders are. Now, typically you get one to three, maybe four co-founders. And if there's only one founder in the business, then I would be slightly worried because it does suggest that there's going to be uh, an issue with the skills gap in the business. But typically, if you get a, a founder, you may have a CTO, a technical guy who's doing a lot of the coding. You may have a sales and marketing guy uh, and they will have complementary skills. And that is a good and positive thing. And you also want to have a look then around the other people in the management team to see how they complement the founders. The age of the management team is actually very important as well. Now, I'm all in favor of these bright young guys and girls coming up and starting these amazing, innovative, disruptive businesses. That's fantastic. Uh, but I would be concerned if everybody in the business was under the age of 22. I do like to see a at least some experience in the management lineup, lineup and in, in an executive role, not just necessarily as a chairman or a non-executive director. So the age range of these people is actually quite important. And then take a look at their roles and see how they complement each other and see how they work together because you really are looking for a cohesive unit. Now, allied to that, take a look at their previous business experience and skills. What have they done before this point? Have they raised money? Have they actually um, done uh, or, or had jobs or, or had activities or been studying at university uh, and been achieving things which complement what they're trying to do now? Because if it's their first um, startup, then there is a higher risk associated with that. And again, it's absolutely fine for people to fail, but um, you don't really want to be having to fund that failure, which much more than frankly somebody else did. So when you look at their skills, try to identify where the skills gaps exist. And again, it's perfectly acceptable to have a gap in an early stage company, providing the management understand there's a gap and they have plans to fill it. So evaluating the skills of the management team, because these are the people who are going to execute for you, is really important. And those are some of the key points you need to look at when you are evaluating management skills.